Hey guys, this is Mac with Monto. Want to make a quick video to answer a customer request that we're getting uh, pretty frequently, which is that users who use our Simple Subscriptions app want to try to do subscribe and save. So for those of you not familiar, subscribe and save is a kind of a, a tactic that Amazon made popular. So typically you could just buy something once, uh, like, these, like this toothpaste, but then uh, maybe a few years ago, I started noticing this. They started offering the same product, but on a subscription. So you pay a slightly lower rate. In this case, um, you save 5% and then 15% on repeated deliveries. So there's a financial incentive that they've built to not only buying the toothpaste once, but buying it repeatedly every month. And so some folks in their Webflow shops want to accomplish a similar thing. And um, anyway, this video, I'll show you how. So. Here in my store, um, this is the store I always use for demos. It's modular. Uh, it was built by Johnny Gomez in the Webflow community. So thanks to Johnny for this. It's an awesome store. Um, we have the socks, this pair of socks, and we have different sizes. We have small and large, and then users can update quantity. So in this sense, it's pretty typical e-commerce product in Webflow e-commerce, only one option set with two variants inside. Um, but now we're gonna add a new variant set to allow for a subscribe and save functionality. So first thing I'm gonna do is actually go to my product list. And I'm gonna find my product that I wanna offer subscribe and save for. And I'm gonna open up a new option set and I'm gonna call it subscribe and save, question mark. And for options, I'm gonna say no thanks and monthly. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Oh, one thing I forgot to do is that under both of my subscribe and save variants, so we have small monthly and large monthly, I'm actually gonna reduce the price because that's the save part of subscribe and save. So you wanna make sure these guys are getting a deal for choosing the subscription. So, Regular product, as you see here, is $10, and for the subscription customers, I'm reducing it to $8. Cool. Okay, so let's go back to our products template and head over to the product that we just added these variants for, which is the Vibes Sports Sock. Cool. So now you'll actually see, oh, let's delete this. Now you'll actually see two sets of option sets. Um, Something I like to do just from a visual perspective is take advantage of this new feature that Webflow launched in October of 2020, I think is really cool, where you actually can choose the variants based on buttons, not on selectors. I just think it looks kind of cooler and modern. And I think when there's more than one option set, it actually kind of just is more functional. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And um, how you do this is you click on option here in your product template. And you're going to see this option, whoops, um, select or buttons, choose buttons. Now, for some of you, this happened to me before the video, you actually don't have the option to choose buttons. And there's a bit of a hack to get this. What you want to do is go up to your add to cart element and actually delete it. And then you're going to want to add it back in. And by adding it back in, you get access to this new variant box type or button type. So let's go back to our default state, option list, option, and variant selector button. So here you are, you have the same option sets as before. You have size, small, large, and then you have subscribe and save, no thanks or monthly. Okay. We're going to do two more things to make this a uh, proper subscription. The first thing is we're going to actually indicate to the subscriber that by clicking on monthly, they save money, right? Because when we created this variant a moment ago in our products collection, we made it so that the monthly option is actually $8 as opposed to $10. So you save 20%. You know, it's pretty significant. Um, let's go ahead and add a, whoops, let's go ahead and add a text block here. And let's make it say, and as you see, it shows up on every option set, but we're going to change that in a second. Let's change this and say, subscriptions save 20%. Or you can say subscribe and pay only 
$8 per month. Or let me just say $8. That sounds good. Um, now, in order to get it to only appear under this particular option set, what we're going to do is go to conditional visibility. This is by highlighting the element, going to the settings panel here, conditions, and we're going to say element is visible when name equals subscribe and save. And I'm going to make it so the option set uh, title is written exactly here. And what that does is it reduces it from all other option sets and it only appears in the relevant option set which is subscribe and save. So here we have shopper comes to the site, they go size, okay, large, subscribe and save. Hmm, subscribers only pay $8 a month. Um, this is actually looking pretty crowded. So let's just add a little bit of margin here. This is what we love about Webflow is you can just do this so easily. Um, I'm sure a better designer than me that would, would make this look even better. But so customer comes, shoot is large, subscribe and save, mm, no thanks, or, oh, cool, I can only pay $8 if I subscribe monthly, great. Then they click the monthly option, they pay $8, and they're not yet put on a subscription. For this final part, we have to actually make the subscription in Monto Simple Subscription. So then we're gonna go over to Monto, log in, and we're going to go to some simple subscriptions, which is the subscriptions tab within Monto. And we're going to create a new plan that's specifically tied to these variants. So I'm going to find the Vibe Sports Sock. And if you see, there's actually all variants here attached to this. So we're going to go to find. Let's see, this actually cached all of the other variants before I deleted them before the video started. So they're, they're, these are actually doubled, but don't mind these bottom four. Let's just focus on these top four for now. So Vibe Sports Sock Small, subscribe and save monthly. This is one variant. And then Vibe Sports Sock Size Large, subscribe and save uh, monthly. These are the two variants that, you know, size small, size large, they chose, yes, I want to subscribe that we're gonna build subscriptions for. Let's start with this first one for small. We're actually gonna say the price is $8, right? Not 10, because we're giving them a financial incentive for signing up for the subscription. And we're gonna say, hmm, it's a monthly subscription, so the billing interval will be once every month. Subscription delay. I cover this in my other intro video. You don't need to worry about this for this type of subscription. And I do wanna charge shipping because I wanna make, make it so that whatever shipping charge is associated with this product in Webflow, carries on to every renewal charge in the subscription because you know maybe it costs me three bucks to ship this product i want to make sure every single time the customer gets the product they're charged shipping cool so subscribers will be charged eight dollars usd every month including shipping or sorry excluding shipping shipping will be added on top cool now we're gonna go ahead and just do the same thing for the, we just did uh, small, we're gonna do the same thing for large. Okay, same thing, eight bucks. Billing interval once a month. Subscription delay, zero. Cool. And there you go. That's how you take a, let's see regular product. You know, this was just a regular one-time purchase product, the Vibe Sports Sock, and I added a subscription option to it and the ability to pay lower, a lower amount, if you choose the subscription. Um, just, in, just to summarize, I also showed you how to add text that only appears if the option set relates to a subscription so that you can add a little extra text here. You know, you could also say, subscribe and pay only $8 per month or get a free sticker. You know, you can add whatever you want here, add some personality like it's coming from your brand or any other kind of incentive that would push people to this single button. And you can style these buttons any way you want, you know, just like anything in Webflow, it's up to you. Um, so I'll leave that up to you. But this is how you execute this kind of Amazon-esque subscribe and save into your subscription products in Webflow. Okay, guys. Um, like I said, my name's Mac. If you have any questions, reach out. 
hello at monto.io and I'm here to help you.